a reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After three months, we set sail on a ship that had wintered at the island of Malta. It was an Alexandrian ship with the Dioscuri as its figurehead. We put in at Syracuse and stayed there three days. And from there, we sailed around the coast and arrived at Regium. After a day, a south wind came up, and in two days, we reached Puteoli. There we found some brothers and were urged to stay with them for seven days. And thus we came to Rome. The brothers from there heard about us and came as far as the Forum of Appius and three taverns to meet us. On seeing them, Paul gave thanks to God and took courage. When he entered Rome, Paul was allowed to live by himself with the soldier who was guarding him. He remained for two full years in his lodgings. He received all who came to him, and with complete assurance and without hindrance, he proclaimed the kingdom of God and taught about the Lord Jesus Christ. Verbum Domini. The Lord has revealed to the nations his saving power. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations, he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness towards the house of Israel. And All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands. Break into song, sing praise. The Lord sing praise to the Lord with the harp, with the harp and melodious song, with trumpets and the sound of the horn. Sing joyfully before the King, the Lord. You. And with your A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Lord, After the crowd had eaten their fill, Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and precede him to the other side while he dismissed the crowds. After doing so, he went up on the mountain himself to pray, by himself to pray. When it was evening, he was there alone. Meanwhile, the boat, already a few miles off offshore, was being tossed about by the waves before the wind was against it. During the fourth watch of the night, he came toward them, walking on the sea. When the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were terrified. It's a ghost, they said, and they cried out in fear. At once Jesus spoke to them, Take courage, it is I, do not be afraid. Peter said to him in reply, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, Come. Peter got out of the boat and began to walk on the water toward Jesus. And when he saw how strong the wind was, he became frightened. And beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me. 
Immediately Jesus stretched out his hand and caught him. And he said to him, Oh, you of little faith, why did you doubt? After they got into the boat, the wind died down. Those who were in the boat did him homage, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. When St. John Bosco was a boy, he loved to learn tricks, all sorts of tricks, so that he could encourage and teach the other boys and young people in the village. So he always was on the lookout. And one day a circus performer came to his village and tied a rope between two trees. And the man got up there and performed great feats. John Bosco was fascinated by this. And as the man came down, he said to him, will you show me how to walk on a tightrope? He said, of course I will. And before the performer could do anything, John Bosco was up the tree and on the rope. And he took one step and he fell off. But he was a very determined young man. So he went back up and got up the tree again and fell off again. And he brushed himself down and he got up there again and he fell off. And eventually the man says to him, would you like me how to teach you how to do it? And he said, yes, and he went up there and he showed him. And he said, when you walk on a tightrope, don't look to the left, don't look to the right, and whatever you do, don't look down. And you will keep your balance. So John Bosco got up there and he looked straight ahead. And he could walk on a tightrope. And he would use this story teaching his seminarians. He say, as you go through life, sometimes it's like being on a tightrope and you lose your balance. But you use your, lose your balance because you've not been looking ahead. You lose your balance because you've been looking in the wrong direction. And in particular, you lose your balance in life if you look down, especially on other people. So keep looking straight ahead at Jesus Christ, your Saviour, and you will find your balance. And although life may be difficult, and although you feel your legs begin to go from under you, and as it says wonderfully in the scriptures, and your knees begin to knock, with your eyes firmly on the Lord Jesus, all will be well. And of course, that's the story of today's gospel. It's the story of Jesus walking on the water. And the first reaction of the disciples when they see this great work of the Lord is they're afraid they're afraid they don't understand the power of God they don't understand that this person Jesus Christ is not just a good man good men don't walk on water he this man is the son of God and the more they begin to understand what that means for them, sometimes they are afraid. And that's what happens in our own life. When we have an encounter with the Lord Jesus, when the Lord Jesus presents himself to us directly, we become afraid. How many times does it say in the scriptures, do not worry, do not be anxious, do not be afraid? It is the constant theme that runs throughout the whole of the scriptures. Because we, being weak and sinful, when we are in front of the reality of the truth of God, we look to ourselves 
rather than focusing on the Lord Jesus. But then Peter overcame his fears. And he did that remarkable thing, which sailors never do. He got out of the boat. Now, if you're a sailor, all your skills, all your talents are about staying in the boat, never getting out of the boat. But he got out of the boat. And to his amazement, as he looked at the Lord Jesus, he was walking on water. He actually walked on water because he was looking at the Lord. But something happened. The storm that was around him started to make itself felt. And he looked at the storm and he felt the effects of the storm and he stopped looking at the Lord and he began to sink. You see, in life, it's comfortable to stay in the boat. It's wonderful to stay in the boat. But Jesus asks all of us, at every moment of our life, to step out of the boat, to step out of that which makes us comfortable and gives us security. Because the only true security in life is to keep our eyes on Jesus Christ. And when we look in any other direction, we lose our balance. We begin to sink. We become afraid. Only the Lord can give us hope. Only the Lord can give us this constant, persistent and consistent stare at you and me that says, courage. Courage. Whatever the Lord is asking of you, he says courage. And as we stand in our boats with the storm all around us, we think, I can't get out of this boat. I'm stuck here. The Lord Jesus asks us simply to lift up our heads and to walk towards him. Whether it's on the tightrope, and let's face it, many of us feel our lives sometimes alike on a tightrope, or whether we are in a boat, in the comfort of the boat, in a storm, and the Lord is asking us to step out. Whatever it may be, and at any moment in our life, keep your eyes on the Lord. Have courage. Trust in him. And despite the storms that beset us, despite the wobbling of our legs and the knocking of our knees, the Lord Jesus Christ, when we look up, is always looking at us to give us courage, to give us hope. And it is that courage and that hope that enables us to trust in him to the extent like our brother Peter, one day someone else may be asked to walk on the water. What that will look like, we don't know. But there will be a moment in our life when we've done something, where we've stepped out and the Lord has kept us afloat. So do not be afraid. Have courage and all will be well. And all will be well. And all manner of things will be well.